scratching your chin? Are you thinking of something? Are you happy or sad? Oh, okay. You look sad. What about if I give you your bear? <gasps> Boop. <laughs> Bobby's one month update coming to you from my kitchen today because it is currently the only room in our house that's actually clean. <laughs> little Miss Bobby is actually a little over five weeks old um, and doing awesome. She is up to 21 inches and eight pounds and five ounces, which means since we left the hospital, she gained almost three pounds because we left the hospital she was at five pounds seven ounces she's up to the 21st percentile in weight and all the way up to the 43rd percentile in height um that's from like the fifth and sixth percentile when she was born so she is definitely growing really really well um at her appointment they did not see any issues with her um so that she's doing well has really good head control Let's see if i can kind of how much she'll actually show it. Show how good your head control is, baby. <laughs> yeah. The only thing is she does have a little bit of cradle cap. It's just mostly like on her forehead and then it kind of goes down into her eyelids. Not really so much actually on her head though. Um, and she has just a little bit of baby acne like on the on her cheeks and stuff. But for the cradle cap, the pediatrician told me to use like head and shoulders on her, which I don't know, it seems kind of harsh for a little baby. What I've been doing actually is just putting a little bit of breast milk on her forehead and it seems to at least help the flaking. I mean, you can still see that it looks kind of dry, but the flakes aren't coming off as much, so. So her eyes are still pretty blue. They haven't changed at all since she was born. Don't know if those will stay because we don't really have a lot of blue eyes in our family, but they might, so they might. And her hair has kind of stayed that same brown color about since she was born. I think it might have lightened up a little bit, but it's still just pretty much brown. <laughs> She's been giving us some more smiles, uh, especially when her dad talks to her. Think you might be a little bit of a daddy's girl let's tell him what you like to do in the day say i pretty much just like to look at lights that's about my favorite pastime especially our christmas tree i put her rock and play right in front of it and she loves looking at the christmas lights and other than that i just eat sleep and poop it's about all i do in the day she's been doing tummy time pretty good i mean she fusses a little bit with it but she definitely can pick her head up and move it from side to side. Um, You're so pretty. <gasps> You're so pretty. She does like her pacifier. Definitely, if she's getting a little upset, it'll help to soothe her. Helps her go to sleep when I'm trying to get her to go to take a nap. Speaking of sleep, this little girl is sleeping right through the night and never has any issues. Right? just kidding i have not figured out her exactly yet we're working on it and we're working on it um she has some good nights she's had nights where she is like we'll eat at like 12 and then four and then on again until like eight you know a few times but she also has nights where she eats at 10 11 12 1 2 3 so we're working on it I did just, what was it, two days ago, start trying to put her on a little bit of like a schedule. Uh, just it's close to what she was doing anyways, just a little more structured, I guess. And by, by schedule, I mean, so if I plan for her to eat at 11 and she starts getting kind of like fussy around 10, I'll for like 15 or 20 minutes try some other stuff to try and calm her down. And then if she still doesn't come, I'll just go ahead and feed her. Um, then I try and keep her up for 30 minutes to an hour after she eats. And then I try and get her to take a nap for like up to two hours after that. Uh, it's, it's yesterday, it sort of worked. And she had a pretty good night. So 
We'll see if it works well today. She went on her first overnight trip. We went to my friend's wedding about two hours away. My parents came to watch her while we were at the wedding, but um, she did really, really good in the car. Uh, just like she, I don't know how she knew it, but about 15 minutes before we were about to get where we were going, she kind of started to cry and get hungry. And which, you know, 15 minutes, that's nothing out of like a two and a half hour car ride. We have like left her with, not just by herself. With um, like her, her grandparents and an aunt and, oh what, do you not like that we left you? Is that why you're getting upset? Mwah. Uh, for up to like two to three hours at a time. Um, she has taken a bottle. Actually took a bottle really well, which kind of made me sad that you were like, I didn't even need my mommy. I just take a bottle. Um, yeah, other than like a few difficult nights, she's, I would say, been overall pretty easy. She's had some fussy days too, but not... Like, if she has a couple fussy days in a row, she'll have some days like today where she'll be awake and calm. She's got some really big feet for a little baby, though. So, as far as I'm feeling at five, a little over five weeks postpartum, I would say I'm like maybe 80, 75, 80% feeling back to normal. Doesn't like nothing hurt or is like uncomfortable anymore, but. I still just feel a little different and I don't know if it's in my head or if there's actually some stuff still healing I don't know I have my like checkup appointment in like a little week and a half to just make sure everything's healed and back to normal my bleeding's pretty much stopped um of course my boobs do feel different than they used to but breastfeeding is going really well it was not going like great right at first but oh yeah you had your tongue tie clipped that was a big thing that happened this month she had a tongue tie which was clipped and is now healed and healed really well and i had a couple of visits with a lactation consultant um to help with positioning and now breastfeeding is going super well doesn't hurt at all which was a big improvement from the first like two weeks i am still up like 20 pounds from my pre-pregnancy weight which isn't bad but i don't know for some reason i like thought it would go away quicker maybe that's kind of something everyone thinks um and it's not just my stomach like my stomach actually is just a little bit poofy at this point of course these leggings like kind of compress it so it looks even better than usual there yeah it still is kind of poofy but the main spot that i've noticed is like my thighs hips and butt are a lot bigger than they were and i don't know how well you can see but i definitely still have some stretch marks here i after she was born noticed stretch marks actually on my stomach and on my thighs it's actually really surprised me is how much i don't care i have all these stretch marks new stretch marks have like my body's completely different and i don't even care i thought i would care more i'm just happy to have a little baby the only thing that was frustrating is my clothes like none of my clothes fit me you know my pre-pregnancy clothes didn't fit obviously don't want to keep wearing maternity clothes luckily during my pregnancy i found the app thread up which is where you can buy like used clothes through the app and they're so cheap like this whole outfit is from thread up and i think like it's probably it's definitely less than ten dollars i think the shirt was like on clearance for one or two dollars and the leggings were like five dollars maybe so i did recently just buy a bunch of like clothes for like kind of my in-between time until i can fit back in my pre-pregnancy -pre clothes um, and i spent like fifty dollars and i got here hold on forty five dollars and i got one two three four five six seven top eight tops a cardigan and two pairs of leggings for 45 dollars and like it's all nice stuff like decent brands like gap and old navy um and they're gently used i mean you can't even tell so that is awesome oh gosh you're so cute i can't even 
mental health wise I did have some I don't know if it's just like baby blues because of having a baby or it's just was such a big change that I had like I had to protect my mental health more than I realized I would for the first two weeks when Chris was off work I was fine everything seemed easy I was like oh having a newborn's not that bad basically right when he went back to work I tried going back to school at the same time and it was just way way too much I was super irritable and was having a like hard time at night especially um because i just wasn't getting enough sleep and i wasn't eating well and i was pushing myself way too hard to like get back to normal and it got like it got a little rough to where i like called my midwife about it and ended up even seeing a therapist and just kind of Getting back to focusing on taking care of myself and taking care of the baby and not going back to school for at least the six weeks. And yeah, I feel good now. I mean, you know, some nights are so rough, but it's normal rough. It's not like me just being angry and frustrated all the time and then crying for an hour or whatever. But it's normal. <laughs> I actually did a video talking a little more in depth about all that. It's normal just to take some time to figure out how to have a baby in your life. Uh, but I think we're at a pretty good spot now. Well, thanks so much for watching. Um, comment down below any questions about little Bobby or ha, first month with a newborn. Oh no, you're so sad that the video's over, aren't you? Say bye! <laughs> Thanks for watching!